Six, five, four, three, two, one. That's Star Trek Discovery, premiering this Sunday here on CBS. We are on the deck of the Enterprise, the Enterprise known as the CBS Evening News. We asked Dr. John LaPook to tell us how well the Star Trek franchise has done over the years at predicting the future of medicine. And I was able to put a scope in and biopsy the pancreas, which was unheard of 50 years ago. Unless you were watching Star Trek as NYU Langone's Dr. Mark Pachapin did when he was a boy. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Star Trek predicted the way you would scan someone is through a non-invasive way without really touching them. Star Trek's tricorder? Today we have CT scan, MRI, and ultrasound. What else has come true? Where Captain Kirk would talk to someone on the flat screen TV, I can talk to a patient now, see their image, see their scans remotely. Dr. McCoy's hypospray helped inspire needle-free injectors. The visor that let Geordi see, we now have glasses that beam light to a chip implanted in the retina. What about sickbay? They'd get on the bed, and all of a sudden, all the monitors would go on like the monitors we have here. And that has come true. We have wireless telemetry. We got a sneak preview into modern medicine from this Starship sickbay. But at the end of the day, Star Trek was about a lot more than just fancy gadgets. It foresaw a world of inclusiveness with doctors of color, male and female. And in the new series, Star Trek Discovery, a physician who is openly gay. What were we doing in a nebula? Now wait, don't tell me. We consulted a specialist in Star Trek style medicine. Bob Picardo played the emergency medical hologram on the Voyager series. And then I would appear and I would say, please state the nature of the medical emergency. So do you think that eventually in the future, a computer algorithm could entirely replace a physician? Ultimately, that artificial intelligence physician will be created from the personal experiences of a large group of doctors. So yes, I believe the day will come when you will be obsolete. Until we reach that final frontier. Computer and program. I remain. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York. Time for us to end program. That's the CBS Evening News. I'm Anthony Mason. Good night, and may you live long and prosper.